Yes, everybody, welcome back to the Rotherham United save here on Football Manager 2020, and we are back for a brand new season. It's season seven? Yeah, it's season seven with Rotherham United, our second season in the Premier League. So, lots of new signings, lots of money spent, a bit of money has come into the club, and of course, we're going to be kicking off our campaign today. So, let's go and see who we have brought in. <laughs> going to kick off with the signings um as you can see we've got 41 million pounds remaining we've got about a month left of the transfer window we've got a bit of money in the way kitty so let's go and see uh what we've been doing in the business so we've bought we sent spent 68 million we've bought in 43 million worth um, pounds 43 million pounds worth of players first one is a big one eddie and ketia has left the club for 37 and a half million pounds big one this because obviously he was a player that had scored so many goals, 100 goals in 194 games, which is an unbelievable record. But he kept moaning about a new contract. And unfortunately, you know, I thought, you know what, cash in. He's been at the club two years. I've made £37.5 million on him. Ridiculous, really. We've invested a lot of time into him. And uh, still a decent return last year in the Premier League. And he's gone to West Brom now. But that has allowed us to spend a lot of money in different areas of the pitch. Uh, Adelperto Penaranda has also left. He joined AS San Etienne for £5 million. Pantic has left the club to join Northampton. Grant Hanley has left on a free transfer. And Josh Madja and Dario Vargas have both gone out on loan. So let's start off with the signings. Ovi Gordon is the first one who's a young player that has come in from uh, Tottenham. He's going to sit in the under-23s. To be fair, he's not too bad. He's got some decent attributes in there. Um, so he could turn out to be a decent player. Anthony Martin is another one that was brought in. Uh, from Arsenal, he's going to sit in the 23s as well. So the first one is a big signing. It is Ruki Puig, who has come in from AC Milan. Obviously, he used to play for Barcelona as well. So AC Milan have made a good amount of money on him. Um, and we've signed him for £15 million. Pounds. I think that is in mainly installments. But he's going to sit as a central midfielder or an attacking midfielder for us. And uh, yeah, very good player. Good dribbling, good first touch. All the, all the essential attributes, really, that he needs, he's very good at. Still 25, hitting towards the peak of his career now. So very, very happy with that signing for the money. Uh, second player is Tommy Doyle for just £7 million. Of course, he's a player that spent uh, his time on loan at us. And last season, he played 31 games, got a decent average rating. And he's come in. I saw him transfer listed. I thought, you know what? Let's bring him in. Not a bad amount of money. Uh, Fulham, uh, from Fulham, we signed Valentin Matalis. Again, he's going to be a backup central midfielder this year. I like him, you know, in terms of attributes and stuff, he's, he's pretty decent. So I've, I've signed him up, 14s and 15s for most things that you've got to have. So I'm happy with that. And um, yeah, the coaches don't rate him massively, but I still think he's a very good backup option. Uh, this one's one that I'm quite happy with. Australian uh, centre-back Harrison Davison has come in uh, from uh, German club Sandhausen. He's pretty highly rated by the coaches. Um, heading and marking is a little bit low than I'd expect, and he's tiny. So I am a bit cautious about this one, but he's really highly rated by coaches and stuff. So centre back is still definitely an area that I want to strengthen long term in this um, in this window. Charles Jackson is another player, Ghanaian striker that has joined the club from Hereford. He'll sit in the twenty threes. Uh, Jao Tome has come in from Benfica. He's going to be playing as a right winger this season. Uh, probably going to be a backup for the time being, but some decent attributes in there. Uh, Luca Pellegrini, of course, on loan at his last season. I thought, you know what, let's bring him in. He was just available for £2.7 million and we've signed him up, so happy with that amount of business. Um, big one from Lazio. We've signed Edon Jegrova from Lazio. £24 million, pounds, but he's a player that I really like the look of and a player that I think he will help us achieve our targets for this season. He's injured, unfortunately, so he's going to miss the first month or so of the season. But uh, very talented player, quick, great on the wing, great on the ball. And uh, I think he's going to be a, a crucial player for us this season. Again, a player approaching his prime. We signed him from Lazio for £24 million. Uh, Timothy Castagna has come in on loan from Wolves. He's going to be a backup, a fullback. can play both sides comfortably, which is good to see. Uh, Guilherme Lanzini is back. He's come back from, on loan from Liverpool. He was on loan with us in the Championship. Had a great season. Had a year out and he's returned to Rotherham. Again, he's going to be one of the key players in our system and in midfield this season. Uh, Milos Kerstic is another player, another new gen that is coming from PSG. Probably going to be the main right winger this season. Good crosser of the ball. Very quick. Good on the ball. 
I think he could be up there with one of the players of the season just purely because of his pace, acceleration and how good he's on the ball. I think he's going to get a lot of assists this campaign. I'm looking forward to seeing how he can get on. Uh, Bjarke Dalsgaard as well is a young player who's coming on loan. Initially, he was sat in the 23s, but I thought, you know what? I think he's good enough to sit as a backup or a rotation option, get some cut game time. So he's in. And uh, the most recent signing for £15 million, it's £7.5 million up front, £7.5 million over the next three years. Bayram Ovus. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm not great with names, but I reckon that's how I say it. Um, he's a Turkish goalkeeper coming from Galatasaray. The initial plan was to keep Grill as number one. We had some big offers coming for Grill, close to 15 million pounds, um, but they never came to fruition. I've signed this guy six foot four. I think his attributes are fantastic. He's going to be a great goalkeeper for us this season. Happy, really happy with the transfers. Just look at the amount of money we've spent and received compared to the rest of the save crazy so uh it's going to be really interesting to see how we get on we've still got 41 million left in the bank we've got 61 million left in the bank as a club overall and i do want to sign i reckon another central midfielder possibly another fullback and an elite center back as well in terms of pre-season we got wins all across the board will be york new york New York Cosmos, uh, OHL and Vallecano most recently. We kick off the season again against Leicester City. We kicked off against them last season, I believe. And then we've got some pretty favourable fixtures. I think we've got a pretty favourable running uh, for the first few games of the season. So it'd be crucial, really, to get some points on the board. We've got a bit of a horrible run in there. Liverpool, Arsenal, United all back-to-back -back in November. But, yeah, in terms of the fixtures, it's a pretty favourable start. Leicester are a team historically... Over the last year or so, we've got the better of us. Beat us in the FA Cup, beat us twice in the league. But I'm hoping today that we can get a win, get off to winning ways and see how we can get on. So first game of the season at home against Leicester. Let's see how we can get on. So here we are with the teams. We are starting and kicking off with a 4-2-3-1. Uh, Bayram in goal. Castagna, Alessio, uh, Davison and Emerson across the back. Doyle in there with Lancini in the middle. Lingard, Puig and Kerstich. On the right-hand side with Klaus starting up front. Klaus, the captain this season, uh, or kicking off the season as captain. Uh, and Leicester will start with a 4-3-3. Danny Loder up top, James Madison and Harvey Barnes as the wingers. Uh, Blesser, Baldo and Burge in the middle with Angelino, Twinzebi, Zambo and Guisa and Shalaber across the back with Ariola in goal. It's going to be interesting. I'm really looking forward to it. First game of the season, um, a bit more of an attacking system, I'd say. You know, four at the back rather than five. Um... And I'm happy because I think we've got some real depth and quality on the bench as well. This is the best Rotherham team we've seen, I think, um, throughout the entire save. And we're going to add to it. I think we could spend possibly another 20, 25 million before the end of the window. We've got another month to do it. But like I say, I think centre-back is the main area, really, that I want to strengthen. Um, and possibly a bit more depth on the wings as well. We've gone with Lingard on the left today whilst um, our, our main player is injured. And obviously Kerstich on the right. And we may see a bit of Kerstich now. He's won the header and flicked it on to Tommy Klaus. Who did lose out there. To Nzebe. Up to James Madison now. We've beaten Emerson. Uh, hits it back here to Baldo. And back over the top to Angelino. Who's got a bit too much time here to pick a ball. Angelino. And he's crossed it in towards Danny Loder. Who heads over the bar. And that's the first big chance of the game. About 25 minutes in. Uh, I'm going to just tell the players to get a bit more creative. As we uh, move towards the uh, last 10 minutes of the first half. It's been very quiet from our point of view. We've got to try and get our chance away. And it looks like we're not going to be able to. One last little nudge before half time. And uh, nothing comes of it. So very, very quiet way to kick off the season. Jesse Lingard being booked for us. Two bookings there for Leicester. With Mateus Baldo and Angelino. So we can uh, obviously try and focus our play towards those. But um, let's, get, yeah, let's get the revenge talk on. So second half kicking off now. We've got a chance maybe right on half time here, or right after half time. Emerson with a long throw. It wasn't great. Leicester can regain possession. And Guisa here on the uh, centre of defence. Not a good ball, but Angelino still manages to bring it down. Good tackle by Kerstich, but falls to James Madison. Madison now breaking. Finds Baldo there. Baldo can lay it off for Harvey Barnes here. Baldo again. Switches it to Angelino. Was he on side? Angelino. Still breaking forwards, tries to strike a goal and it's gone in. And it's going to be an own goal for the goalkeeper on his debut. Bay Rammer scored an own goal right after half time. A little bit annoying. I thought Angelino may have just been offside there. 
but he held his run quite nicely. And a little bit of a mix-up there. He just fired it towards goal. Bit of a mix-up between Alessio and the goalkeeper. And it goes into the back of the net. And uh, not a good start to the season for us, if I'm honest, guys. We haven't got going at all. Emerson is really struggling down that right-hand side. Um, he's not having a great game. James Madison has got him on toast, really. And we have got half an hour left. And we really need to start deciding what we're going to do now. Let's bring Jovovic on through the middle there. Let's bring... Um, a switch Castagna over to the right and bring on uh, Trevor Clark down the left. A bit more pace, a little bit more power down the left-hand side now with Trevor Clark. But um, you can see Jesse Lingard not having a good game. He probably would have been my next sub, but it is going to be Joe Tompkins to come on for Tony Klaus up top. And we need a goal here. We really need a goal. Won't be great to kick off the season with a defeat. Um, let's go very attacking. Come on. Leicester have got a good team, to be fair. They're set up well, but uh, I just hoped we'd put up a bit more of a fight. We've genuinely not had a uh, a chance in our favour at all. And it is going to be, unless we can grab a late goal, it is going to be full-time, and it's going to finish 1-0 to Leicester. Again, a narrow defeat on the opening day of the season. Disappointed with that. I'm going to tell them, you know, it's been an own goal that has separated the teams, but we didn't have a chance ourselves in that game. We didn't have a chance where we tested the goalkeeper of note. And that's a, a pretty disappointing performance. We've got two injuries there. We've got Tony Klaus injured for a month. Uh, Puig is out for a couple of days. But not a great performance. A little bit annoying, possibly. I shouldn't be looking at the defence. Maybe I need to be looking at the uh, the front line to get a bit more going. But we fall to a defeat on the opening day of the season against Leicester City. We've got work to do this month. We've got players to bring in. But we'll be back next month in the next episode for the game against Everton. Hopefully you can join me for that. Guys, if you did enjoy it today... Let me know, uh, drop a like on the video and uh, let me know what you think of the signings in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and until next time, I'll see you all very, very soon.